From a concept, to creation, to the locker room. This is Loose Threads, an inside look at how your favorite rain specialty jerseys make it to the ice. Hi, I'm Matt McElroy. I'm the Senior Manager of Marketing and Creative for the Ontario Rain, and for the last four years, I've designed every jersey the Rain have worn. I've been designing specialty jerseys for the Rain since 2018-2019, uh, when I started with the team as a graphic designer. Uh, my design style sort of comes from the fact that, uh, you know, I grew up playing hockey, I played in college, and, you know, I know what it's like to wear a jersey that maybe you're not the biggest fan of, so I always try and make it something that the players are going to want to wear. Lots of things expire me um, when I start with a blank canvas. It could be a jersey I just saw. You know, if it's a theme night, sometimes it's really obvious what we're gonna go off of, like a firefighter's uniform or a throwback jersey. Um, but there's so many great designers out there, so I try and get inspiration from them and kind of interpret that into my own style and, and what the rain needs. My favorite jersey we've designed for the rain is probably uh, this year's First Responders Night jersey. Um, it's a firefighter inspired jersey. It's sort of the second version of this jersey we've done, so it was great to take it from uh, what we did the first year, the all red version with the stars, and kind of elevate that logo as I've gotten better, and then elevate the style of the jersey um, to work with the CCM Quick Light jersey template that we use now. So my design process for the first responders jersey um, actually starts like months before the season started. So every off season we come up with a list of theme nights and we decide you know what we're gonna do. So for the first responders jersey, we have already done a police jersey and we had done a firefighter jersey three years ago now. So we wanted to go back to that and sort of start the cycle over. So we looked at the original first responders logo, which had the firefighter, um, helmet, the crossed axes, and the letter O, and I thought, how would I do this in 2021? So um, I started on my iPad. I love using the iPad Pro. I have an Apple Pencil, and I started sketching out what would version 2.0 of this jersey crest look like. So I went through a few different iterations, um, redrawing the axes, redrawing the helmet, getting the face mask right, trying to incorporate some subtle elements in there. So. Um, on the firefighter helmet, um, sort of like the station number, there's an 08 on it, which is the year the rain started playing. And then I tried to really emphasize that the shape in the background is an O, so you can see that it's a little narrower at the top than on the sides, kind of hinting at that. And then the axes are just a cleaned up version of the original axes. Then once that's approved, we go on to the actual jersey design process. So for this year, I wanted them to be heavily inspired by um, actual firefighter uniforms. So we looked at a bunch of different firefighter styles and we sort of settled on a more European style firefighter uniform um, because the colors went better with the rain's colors because you obviously, you have a black base, silver accents, and then you get that sort of safety highlighter yellow color, um, which really popped off um, and it turned out great on the ice but then you know it was sort of figuring out how do we tie in the red from the logo so we looked at lots of different number styles um, do we do you know a more firefighter engine style number with red lettering red name plates we ended up settling on just the red in the collar insert which sort of helped tie it all together and then for the font we ended up going with um, a metallic silver uh, king style letter with the highlighter green um, um, accents which I think turned out really cool they looked great on the ice um, and the design sort of ended up feeling really modern but very classic at the same time uh, which is something that I think is uh, hard to achieve you know the logo is obviously kind of a very modern style but the striping pattern even though we took it from the firefighter uniform is sort of inspired by the Buffalo Sabres winter classic jersey and other designs of the 30s and 40s We've got lots of ideas cooking up for next year. Um, you'll probably see some fan favorites come back, military appreciation night, um, first responders, and you know we're, we've heard everybody loves uh, the ECHL logo, so we're gonna try and bring that back again next year and see how we can incorporate that, but I can't give too many things away and you'll just have to wait and see. I have uh, lots of advice for young graphic designers. I think that um, you have to get really good at being told no. Um, a lot of design is subjective and 
you could be the best designer in the world one day, but if your client or whoever you're working for doesn't love the product you're working on, um, it's not gonna get chosen. So you gotta get really comfortable with rejection and being told no and just constantly getting better. Um, I heard this uh, a couple years ago and I can't remember who said it, but it's something that I try and live by. I think the most recent thing you've done should be the best thing you've ever worked on because you're constantly growing, you're constantly improving, and that way you, know, you never stagnate and just think, um, oh, I'm the top of my craft. When you're thinking you're the best, you're probably not and there's some there's always going to be somebody better than you and um, i use that to try and stay humble and even though i've had the opportunity to design so many cool things for the rain and other teams um, i'm always looking to get better and and look at the next thing and hopefully next uh, i'll have a jersey in the nhl so you know there's always something better than where you're at now and um, you just got to keep moving forward next time on loose threads we take the 10 west to huntington park to meet with Bob Halfacre, who takes over the next step in the specialty jersey process.